Um, my name is Gavin Ward. I'm a freshman here at NYU Florence. And um, I'm reading today just a prose that I wrote. And um, it, I, I titled it Imagine. Uh, here it goes. Um, Imagine you're walking through the Grand Marche, a large outdoor market in Angemina, Chad. It's very hot and dirt crunches beneath your feet. You're six years old and in a foreign country with foreign people and a foreign language for the first time. You're scared, confused, so you clench onto your mother's arms as she pulls you along looking at various market goods such as paintings or masks made by the locals. Each stand you walk to, you hear the cheerful and friendly, ah, bonjour madame, and then he or she proceeds to try and sell whatever it is he or she is selling to your mother for a large sum of money because they know you're both not from there. You're young and naive and curious as to why the people in this new world are so different from you. The sun stands centered in the sky and is followed by loudspeakers singing Islamic prayers. Everyone unknown around you begins to pray to the voice they hear. You, your mother and father, stand there in respect and wait for the prayers to finish, but do not pray along. Your mother shushes you when you try to talk to her during the prayer. And after the prayers finish, um, you're even more confused and scared. And so you look up at your mother and ask, what are these people doing, mama? This is a defining moment in your life. You're scared and confused and expect an answer. You're looking for a response that will define how you view these people. Should you be scared or shouldn't you be? They're praying, sweetie, she says. But why do they pray differently than we do, you ask? Because that's how they choose to pray. It's no better or worse than how we pray. Just because they're different doesn't mean they're wrong. Just a different way of looking at the same thing, she said very innocently and simply to, a child, to you. After this moment, you're defined. Your fears of someone unknown and different gradually disintegrate. And over time, you make friends. Your experience is now, you experience with an open heart uh, this new culture and people. And so, when we were children, we all faced defining moments like this. And as our generation of students grow older and we have children, our children will face defining moments like this that'll depend on us to define. Thank you.